the meeting of the General Assembly here in Medellin sends two very strong messages. It's a message of confidence, a message of support to Colombia, but also, and in a more encompassing way, a message of support for peace. Peace that you led so courageously. Only brave people lead peace endeavors. And only brave people can take that challenge and take carry it through. So thank you so much for your commitment to our sector, for your commitment to a greater cause of the goodness of your country, and your commitment to peace. My very good friend, Minister Alvarez Correa. My friend, if I may say so. Yesterday, you were taken back when I considered myself a friend of the good mayor. You're an even better friend, and I beg apology from the good mayor. You're a wonderful lady. You combine professionalism with a great smile, with a big heart, and you do your work with passion. You and your team, Maria Abel and Sandra, are a wonderful team, and you made our life much easier in this country and in this endeavor. Thank you so much. My very good friend, Mayor Correa, Gaviria Correa, what can I say again? We're so much enjoying our stay in this country and in this city. I'm looking forward to all of you experiencing the beauty of this city. This city has taken a very, very clear strategy forward. What's good for the people of the city is good for its visitors. A city that is safe for its people, it's safe for its visitors. A city that's enjoyed by its people, it's enjoyed by its visitors. This is the right approach, this is the right attitude. I have visited places with the mayor two days ago where I saw people that many of us would consider poor, but they had a smile on their face. They were happy, and that's what really matters at the end of the day. It is not the material value. The mayor understands it, the city understands it, the country understands it. Our very good friend and colleague, sister organization ICAO, Mr. President, thank you for your presence here with us. You and the Secretary General's presence here is meaning a lot to us. I will not be talking much about the relationship between tourism and transportation, and particularly air transportation, because we have a very important session after this where all of our ideas will be aired. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, and forgive me for not mentioning you one by one. I would have loved to recognize the presence of each and every one of you. This is one of the best and most attended general assemblies ever. We have over 72 ministers and state secretaries, full ministers and state secretaries. We have close to 1,000 participants, countries that are coming from 114, 115 delegations. We have a big number of media representatives and a big number of our partners in the World Travel and Tourism Council and our affiliate members in the business community. This is again a sign of confidence and support to Colombia and a sign of recognition. I still remember, Mr. President, many of us were there in Victoria Falls when your video was echoing all over the evening, a wonderful and beautiful Colombian evening that made all the delegates decided it is Colombia and it is Medellin where we come. Your simple, straightforward message was enough to convince everybody that Colombia is the place and Medellin will be the destination. And you were right, and they were right. Their decision was right. It has been eight years since we have made our other General Assembly here in Colombia in Cartagena de India. This is one of the first and very few countries in the world where two General Assemblies were heard, were held. At that time, Colombia was still trying to place itself on the world map and achieve the progress that it is ambitious to. Today, eight years after that, many of you that still remember our experience in Cartagena de Indias can see how much progress has been made and how much this country has come through. At that time, the slogan for Colombia was, the only risk is wanting to stay. Today, we're talking about magical realism. I would want to say magical realism, where the only risk today is actually falling in love with this country. This is a country that has so much to offer, a country that combines pride with gentleness and kindness and warmth. And that's unique and that's very special. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not want to talk much about 
tourism data and statistics. You all know that. The impact of tourism on the world map has been significant. I don't want to talk about 1.1 billion trillion dollars being generated by the travel and tourism industry. Four billion dollars spent every year. One out of 11 jobs. Six percent of world trade. 30% of world trade in services, and so on and so forth. What's more important than these numbers is the impact it has on the ground, the kind of transformative force that it's having on the people on the ground. But even more important than that, its contribution to bigger and higher ideals of human aspirations. And I particularly want to mention the issue of peace. Mahatma Gandhi, many years ago, said, travel is the language of peace. Only those that understand the connection between tourism and peace can appreciate the real value of travel and tourism as an industry. You can never ever hold feelings of resentment or hatred to people that you've lived with, you've visited, you've rubbed shoulder with, you've ate their food, you've sang their songs, you listened to their music. Travel and tourism is the language of peace. It's the language that connects people with each other and makes this world a better place. It's the antithesis of war, war and hatred. This is why our meeting here in Colombia is very significant and very, very meaningful. Mr. President, we're here to say we hold your hand, we salute you, we support you. This is a country that we are looking up to. Keep up the good work and thank you so much. You and your wonderful team are doing a great, great job. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.